Hi all, welcome back to our YouTube channel. In this video, we will understand the interaction framework. So, let's get started. In the previous video, we learnt about Norman's model of interaction, but it only concentrates on the user's view of the interaction and does not deal with the system's communication through the interface. Hence, now we will understand the interaction framework which gives a more realistic description of the interaction by including the system explicitly. So, let us understand in detail. The interaction framework consists of four major components which are the system, the user, the input and the output. Each component has its own language which are the system's core language, the user's task language, the input language and the output language. The input and the output together form the interface. There are four steps in the interactive cycle, each corresponding to the translation from one component to another. So let us understand them. The user begins the interactive cycle with the formulation of a goal and a task to achieve that goal. The user can only manipulate the machine through the input. Hence, the task must be articulated within the input language. The input language is then translated into the core language as the operations to be performed by the system. The system then transforms itself as described by the operations. This ends the execution phase of the cycle. Then the evaluation phase begins. The system is now in a new state which must be communicated to the user. The current values of the system attributes are presented as concepts or features of the output. The user then observes the output and assesses the results of the interaction relative to the original goal. This ends the evaluation phase and hence the interactive cycle. Thus, there are four main translations involved in the interaction here, which are articulation, performance, presentation and observation. Thus, the interactive framework is a means to judge the overall usability of an entire interactive system. It also provides us a basis for discussing other issues related to interactions, which are ergonomics, which addresses the issues on the user side of the interface, covering input, output and user's immediate context. The dialogue design and interface styles are placed along the input side of the framework, which address both articulation and performance. Presentation and screen design relates to the output branch of the framework and the social and organizational context in which the system is placed also affects the interaction. Here we can see that all these areas affect the interaction and thereby the ability of the user to interact effectively. That's it for this video guys. Thanks for watching the video and if you have any doubts, please do let us know in the comment section below. If you have found the video helpful, then do like and share the video with your friends and subscribe to Be The Best channel for more such videos. Meet you in the next video of the HMI series. Bye-bye.